this is a frequent question people ask me what is the best part of Antalya to live in it's a very complicated question because everybody comes with different needs and requirements according to the ages of their children whether they have children whether they don't whether they're new, they're newly married um, whether they're here for retirement so it all depends on many many factors now for example with me one of the things that attracted me most about the city center area which i'm in now the old town city center um, is the old town because i love the old town i love the masjids because many of the mosques here are ancient they're like museums within 10 minutes walk i've got 10 mosques so the mosques were a very big thing for me uh, and they're always open while when I went to the back areas or even if I went to Konyalti even the city centre areas of Konyalti or Lara which is the two most expensive areas in Antalya I found the mosques were closed many times but the mosques in the city centre were open throughout the day so I found that much better and because the mosques in, this, in the other areas in the back areas or even in these expensive areas the the b distance between one to the other was about 10 minutes walk which i didn't like i prefer having many choices within a few minutes walk one or two minutes walk and another thing is i like the hustle and bustle it's not that much hustle or bustle here because the reason i chose this area as you can see right there is a massive park there the biggest one probably the biggest park in antalya uh, definitely the most beautiful park in antalya and there's many many parks that go across then you've got the boats harbour you've got many many parks across that whole cliff and there's a massive park there over there as well so the thing is my lifestyle doesn't need me to go to the beach as much because i've been to too many beaches in my life so the tram goes from just in front of my house and goes to konyalti beach and i'm there within 10 minutes so i only go to the beach once a week maximum I don't go more than that so there's no need most of the time we like walking so we'll walk in that direction we'll walk in the old town we'll walk in the harbour we'll walk towards Mark Antalya we'll walk uh, visit some of the masjids we'll visit the Maidan there's always something going on there um, then you can walk to any of these parks here uh, sometimes we'll go visit other places which you can go by bus very easily from here or tram uh, the tram uh, airport tram is about five minutes walk that way and you see the airport it takes you direct to the airport or if you want to go back toward the back areas where there's many other parks and places to visit uh, then I like going there as well um, at the same time if I need to go to Lara Beach I take a bus and if I need to go to Konyalti as I said I take the tram and sometimes we like to go to Sarisu Ladies Beach which is right at the end over there and they, they have a teleferic as well going up to the mountains it's very cheap you've got Aktur Park over there as well uh, just in between uh, this whole Murat Basha area which is on the cliffs and the Konyanti beach so um, I prefer this area because all the shops and restaurants are here as well so it gives us uh, the choices as well um, and they're more cheaper than the restaurants and takeaways that you find in Konyanti or in Lara because they're more for expensive people and rich people and plus when you live with those people over there then they're a bit high end, they're a bit uptight and let's face it, they don't really like Muslims as much uh, they're not really, uh, you won't find as much intermingling with them and you'll get, uh, yeah, you just feel a bit uncomfortable with them really and I don't like the wide streets as well in Konyalti and Lara because, you know, when the sun hits, there's not much shade here because of the old town, there's so much shade uh, because the streets are more narrow I mean, I specifically chose this area because there's not much cars going past here look, this is the morning rush hour all the rush is basically in that area where Mark Antalya is the more you are closer to that the more there's going to be rush and the more you go more back the less rush it is as well because so those back here anyone who can't afford this kind of area which is quite expensive uh, as I said this is the third most expensive area number one is Lara number two is Konyalti number three is this city center area uh, and then it gets cheaper as you go more back because this part goes this is Murat Pasha it goes more back then it becomes Kapes then Varsak so those areas are more cheaper as you go more back so someone who doesn't mind living in the back areas that's also fine with me i couldn't be bothered every time i want to come to the old town or go for a nice walk i have to uh come take a bus basically i can't be bothered 
and that's an extra expense and an extra headache and time consuming so that's one of the reasons I like it here because I, this is basically the best place to walk in Antalya if you want to go walk this whole area basically from that where the park starts right on the left all the way this uh, place is this amazing amazing walk to the as I said all these areas we walk towards all the way up to the beach even when you go beyond the beach that park of that beach as well is beautiful and that's the best place to uh, swim as well right on the cliffs and there's all these kids jumping from the cliff it's quite amazing to see um, yeah near misses a lot of them so that's what I love about this area that's why I think this area is the best for me uh, maybe as I get older uh, I've you know spoke to a lot of people they said it's because you're young that's why you like this area so as I get older maybe I'll uh, most likely move more towards the back areas uh, right at the edge uh, of Antalya where I can take a tram and still get to the beach if I want to uh, within 45 minutes if that's if you live right at the end so you see that's another option if you still want to be accessible you can live near the tramway because there's two tramways one tramway goes that way on the left side of Mark Antalya one tramway goes to the right side the left side goes towards Doshal Malti it doesn't go up to the Doshal Malti but basically in that direction because Doshal Malti when the tramway finishes then uh, it goes uphill basically and only cars go uphill towards Doshal Malti which is about 15 kilometers away so that's another option for some people who like to be in the wilderness and can afford a car I can't afford a car that's another problem so I'm not going to go up towards Doshal Malti um, otherwise Doshal Malti has a very good community as well as well of UK Muslims uh, who speak English and do homeschooling uh, and it's slightly more cheaper than like like Capes, the back areas of Antalya, slightly more cheaper, or probably the same price as Capes. Um, then, if you go the right side of the tramway, that goes towards Varsak, which goes a bit more further back. Uh, the city has grown much more back towards that way, um, so that area is quite good and upcoming, and uh, more local Turkish people, maybe more religious as well, you could say. Um, and th there's a specific area, that area, which is called Yenigun. Uh, it's still towards basically two kilometers from Mark Antalya Mall, so not very far away. Uh, it's a very re nice family religious area, Islamic uh, schools, uh, you know, ha Imam Hatib schools, separate for boys, separate for girls. So that's quite nice as well. And here's some sort of prayer going on in the masjid. Some darud upon the Prophet at 9 a.m. So this is one of the reasons I love the, the old town uh, and me I'm here for specific because I like giving da'wah, I like meeting people, uh, I like bumping into people, I like meeting them, the foreigners, so I like this area because of this. And another reason is uh, because I manage a few Airbnbs here so it's, my distance is more closer here uh, plus even my apartment sometimes I put it on for rental if I'm going back to England uh, so this area I can literally rent it out any day of the week and uh, it's a very high-end uh, extremely easy to rent area especially to holiday people short-term rentals so that's another thing and if you want to run so, some sort of business like that uh, and get some nice income I mean literally you could get a, a two three bedroom four bedroom apartment for like less than a hundred thousand pounds and then you'll be getting literally uh, from 60 to 100 pound a night which is you can extremely live a rich life here having even one apartment so that makes you a lot of money um, so that's a good business a lot of people ask me what am I going to do when I come here if you have a little bit of money you can buy two apartments put one on rent live in one job done uh, or otherwise just buy one in a good central area another thing is this risk averse as well because this area is there's less risk you can easily sell you can easily buy uh, you can easily rent you can easily uh, if you change your mind after a little while you want to move to a different area you can easily sell it and go to a different area that's the advantage of the cities. The more closer you are to the sea, the more better. Um, another thing about this area, there is even a small beaches, private beaches on the left and the right. Um, near the harbour, there's a beach. There's on the park side, there's another beach as well. You have to pay like uh, two, three, three pounds or four pounds and they let you in for the whole day. You can use their bathroom, toilet, and they give you a sunbed as well. It's more private, less people. But to be honest, I love Cornelty Beach. Uh, right at the beginning of Konyalti Beach. I don't like that area. As you go more further, it gets more busier. But that's where the hotels are. But this area, no one, uh, less people come in this beginning area where the cliff just finishes. I love that. 
so that's why it's just I mean this location takes too many boxes for me uh, that's the reason I always say city center Murad Pasha uh, near the old town is the best area to live um, and especially having this mall I've been to all the malls for me this mall is the best uh, Mark and Talia Mall see that big black building there uh, especially in the summer months when you can't really do much outside in the daylight times in the evening there's always stuff to do because it's the sun sets but in daylight time Mark and Talia Mall is just like your saviour you know uh, because of the air conditioning as soon as you enter it so that's really nice and it's got a big masjid inside and and you just hang around the children's massive children's play area bigger than most or probably all the malls put together that's how big the children's play area is in this one so that's really nice um, so you can see the tram coming this is the tram that goes to the beach it's extremely beautiful look, look, look at those, those flowers you know set up with these palm trees it's just I'd never get bored of this place like it's so beautiful and if I get bored with the beauty which it doesn't happen I, I get lots of people to meet every time I go down there's someone British someone Asian someone Pakistani some you know Arab that'll meet they'll come to my house have tea have a nice chat there's always someone to meet and then the, even the Turkish people youngsters they're all over here I like to meet them give da'wah to them you know talk to them because they're not, no one's doing that, you know what I mean? So that's very, very important to me. Um, the schools, you see that, um, basically, let me show you. That's a school, right, where the tram is stopped. There's a school on the right side. Um, we have another school just behind this yellow building. That's a primary school. Um, and my children go to, like, a, basically go like a 15, 15 minutes walk, 10 minutes walk that direction. There's another school, that's where they're going right now. Uh, all public schools. Um, so that's another thing, you know, having every, everything is close by. I don't need a car. Everything is local. Local transport is there. And I, I'm literally in, like I'm in a holiday spot. Do you understand? But at the same time, you can live in this holiday spot. Now, as I said, if someone's on a budget uh, and they have less money, then of course they can go more back and they can find cheaper places. Or they can even find an older building in this area and it'll be cheaper. And as I've always said, Older buildings are better investments because when urban regeneration happens, where they break the building and they make a new one, you will spend 15-20% uh, of the building cost maybe and then they will make a new building for you and then your property price will triple or minimum go two and a half times more. So look how clean they keep the place. That's another thing. Because you're living in a, in a good area of Antalya, everything is very clean, everything is up to date. They put the mosquito spraying regularly uh, so you don't have much of these issues uh, extremely safe that's another thing I love about this area I can come here at 4am, 5am 3am, 2am, midnight the children can walk, my wife can walk here I don't have to worry the streets are wide, that's another thing if you go to some areas uh, in the back the streets are so narrow it's like, mate, it's just not right and then, um, as I said any time of the night or day I can walk out and I don't have to worry it's safe there's people walking around, there's shopkeepers. Um, but at the same time, it's not crazy hustle and bustle. In the summer months, it gets a bit too busy. I don't like it. Uh, but then again, that's one of the sacrifices you have to make. There's a nice basketball court as well on the left there. There's about six of them uh, under, under like, a, uh, it's covered. But the beauty is just amazing. You know, like, I mean, just look at that. And then when you look at the cliffs, uh, you see the boats harbor is just basically underneath there. It's about 10 minutes walk and you're in the boat's harbour. Extremely beautiful. You can see the two minarets of the masjid already. Um, There's way too many stuff, you know, I, I could say. I could go on forever. And one of the reasons I actually chose this apartment is because of the old town con continues at the back of my building as well. So we don't get no car noises because the cars are all the way over there. There's a BIM supermarket there, by the way. Always have a BIM supermarket next to you. Or an A101. But BIM is the best one. The blue one, yeah? A101 is basically right below this building. Um, that's another reason I chose this area. Um, there's no noise and I have a beautiful view of this old town as well. Uh, this is a bit more rundown than another one. There's the school by the way which I was talking about. Um, there's another mall being built over there. You see that, that white building there? Not this grey one but the white one there. That's door garage mall. In front of it is part of the tram tramway that goes to the airport. Um, 
that area, as I said, it gets more expensive. You can see Ramada Plaza, that way it gets much more expensive because Lara kind of starts from there. Extremely expensive. Um, I would avoid those areas. But these areas are still all right. Most of the buildings are old. Some of them are new buildings being made, made up. The old ones are being broken very, very quickly now. Uh, so this is a good area to buy an old building and wait for it to be broken and make a new building. Or if you're not bothered, just buy a new building. You know, uh, then you don't have to worry about having to go away for six to six months to one year while they build a new one. Um, so as you can see, this is like more of the local. As you go more back, it becomes more local. Um, my friend bought an apartment just there on the ground floor, uh, 65,000 uh, pounds just recently. Alhamdulillah, I found it directly with the owner. Sometimes I find these special deals, you know. Uh, yeah, but you just got to keep messaging me and then keep asking me and then slowly I'll I'll find something special and you grab it but you have to be very quick at grabbing it because these things they'll be sold very very quickly the good deals won't last more than a couple of days that's one thing you can understand about the difference between UK or the West and Turkey is that in Turkey good deals or properties are sold they don't even go on the market most of them only insiders know about them yeah, the agents know about them sometimes or the owner knows and the building people know and the builders, building people will buy it or their friends will buy it there's always someone ready to buy it because of the crashing lira they'll keep buying properties because the properties keep going up in US dollars so they just want to safeguard their lira they'll keep buying properties so you've got to be very quick at acting when it comes to properties um, yeah so as you can see it's much more narrow streets which I, to be honest, really prefer. Uh, there's more shade. Because the sun is a big issue. You know? I mean, when you're in the UK, you're like, oh, I want sun, I want sun. But when you come here, it's like, where can I hide from the sun? You know, So that's the difference. And uh, in the winter, it's better here as well because we get a lot of fresh air coming from the sea. Uh, you would never be able to afford, the majority of humans <laughs> will no longer be able to afford being so close to the sea in Konyalti or Lara. But in Murat Pasha, it's still a possibility because this is in the upcoming area they're still building new buildings and breaking the old ones so there's a lot of poor people living in some of these apartments old apartments um, so there's a lot of fresh air basically because there's an, uh, this whole area of uh, emptiness and the buildings are not so high you can literally get so much fresh air comes from here and in the winter as well because we're more closer together there's uh, less cold you could say as well while if you go to Konyalti or Lara, you can see the buildings are much more bigger. There's more spaced out as well, so the wind hits it more harder. And uh, there's less, you know, heat from the neighbour, basically, you could say. Um, yeah, so as you can see, a lot of people say, oh, Antalya is too loud, it's too busy. Look, um, this is rush hour, literally 9am. Yeah, it's so peaceful. Uh, let me show you the front bit, just in case. Another thing my friend was mentioning as always that the the mountain views are beautiful but looking at it from up here because we're up on the cliff here Allah forbid a tsunami happened uh, we're more safe because we're up on the cliff while Konyalti is down so Konyalti is you know they're on ground level zero with the sea uh, it's dangerous you know so look this is rush hour yeah not bad at all eh not bad at all so my apartment is at the back side so I don't get this noise anyway even of these cars um, but yeah it's not that bad so yeah what my friend was saying is basically looking from above down at the people below is more beautiful because you get to see everything and you can see the full mountain view right now it's all cloudy again you can't really see it, but you can kind of see it. There we go. But when you're in Konyalti, you, you can't see it as, as good, you know, because you're down below. So the view from the top is always better. So we're on the top, really. You see, that's the castle walls. Hadrian's Gate is over there. Uh, famous if you type in Antalya, which is you know, probably the number one thing that comes up. So yeah, Murat Pasha is, in my opinion, is a better investment. If you can't afford, then you go back towards Kapiz. And if you want extreme quietness, then you go towards Dosh al Malti, which has a nice community as well. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's more cheaper than Kapiz. 
Kepes and Dosh El Malti are probably the same because Dosh El Malti people like Dosh El Malti because of that reason. And it's maybe two, three, four degrees cooler uh, in terms of weather. Uh, when the summer hits, it, you feel it. But to be honest, Dosh El Malti is then colder as well in the winter. So it kind of, uh, you know, versus it out. So here it's more warmer in the winter which again saves you on energy bills well, I think I'll end the video right there um, to call it a day inshallah so if you have any questions if you're interested in buying property or renting uh, send me an email at phraseweezy at gmail.com or leave a comment below I don't get much views anyway <laughs> so I'll probably see your comment anyway. Ah, another thing, dogs, because the dogs are, dogs are barking. Uh, see, when you go to those areas, Lara, Konyalti, uh, Konyalti uh, Rawa, it's a lot of dogs, because as I said, it's spaced out. And if you go to the back areas, there's more dogs. If you go to Doshin Manti, it's extremely bad in terms of dogs. Dogs everywhere. You need a car, basically, too. You can't walk around. You don't think you're going to go for a nice stroll in the back areas or in Doshin Manti once the sun sets. Yeah, because the dogs too many wild dogs while here because it's city center there's less dogs and also because there's people walking around the dogs are less uh, dangerous basically you know so it's not a major issue but it's definitely an issue because I've, I found it especially in the winter months when I was in Konyalti I got scared like I could not go out it's to certain streets I wouldn't go and in Doshal Malti it's a major issue in the back areas of Antalya it's also quite a big issue uh, because there's less people walking around so another thing is like when you're walking, if, you, if you're a person who likes to walk in the evenings, daytime is, I guess is fine, not much of an issue. But if you're a person who likes to eat dinner and then go for a walk, then those are not walkable areas. The more you go more back. Uh, Konyalti, as I said, in winter, Lara in winter, not walkable areas at all. Then Doshil Malti is extremely bad when it comes to walking. So you can't, you just don't walk around there. So most of the people in Doshil Malti, uh, they have like complexes, so they'll be inside their complex. So I guess yeah, that kind of helps them. They just walk around in the complex, run around. But I like my people. I like look at this. I mean, no complex is going to be as beautiful as this. No park is going to be as big as that. You know, uh, the amount of people that I meet here is not going to. I'm not going to get that. You know. So that's one of the reasons why I still prefer this area. Maybe when I get older and I just don't feel like meeting people, then maybe I'll I'll like the back areas and Dosh and Malti. And don't forget, we're also looking into off grid, so farms. So anybody interested in that, uh, people who want to still live in the city, uh, they can have a place here, but they can also have a backup in a farm where they can go there for a few months of the year, train their children and themselves how to farm. Uh, that's another project we're working on. If you want to buy one, you want to buy one as a community, whatever budget you have, we can try and find something, inshallah, suitable. Um, minimum investment nowadays is about £10,000 we need at least if you want a portion of a farm. Um, so that's a very good idea as well. Uh, people who want to get away from the internet, this fit now of the Jal, as I've said many times on my videos, then uh, do consider investing some money in farms at this moment. As you know, uh, you know, I've mentioned this in many videos, but all the rich people are investing in farms because food will always be needed when the crash happens. Uh, and a huge crash that has never happened uh, in history will happen. That's what they're saying. Uh, so we need to wait for it because they want to change the whole world the way the world is running at the moment so and there's again there's another issue of power shifting from the west to the east now so that's another issue many many weird things are happening in the world we don't know which direction is going to go we don't know who's going to win but most likely the power will shift it's no longer going to be in the power that it is in now uh, so do istikhara make dua to Allah show us the signs and uh, again when it comes to even finding the right area do istikhara make dua to Allah ask Allah for the guidance and to make mashura consultation with your family, with friends, with people relevant, with me, and uh, then find the right place, you know, and may Allah guide us to the right path, the right place, where it's good for our iman, and where we can benefit deen at the same time, not just to protect ourselves, but to protect others and help others to come to the right path as well, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.